Hello and thank you for joining us on the newsroom. I am Oni Adikune. Vice President Emi Oshibaja has left Abuja for Guinea to represent President Muhammadu Buhari at the second extraordinary summit of the ECOWAS Authority of Heads of State and Government. According to a statement from the Vice President's media aide, Laolo Akonde, the meeting is being held to discuss the recent coup in the Republic of Ghana of Guinea rather. Last week, Oshibaja took part in the previous virtual ECOWAS Extraordinary Summit on the political situation in Guinea and Mali. At the meeting, ECOWAS leaders called for the immediate and unconditional release of President Alpha Conde and other arrested persons and suspended uh, Guinea from all ECOWAS governing bodies and statutory meetings. The Nigeria Air Force has admitted that one of its fighter jets on a mission against terrorists unfortunately bombed civilians in Yobe State on Wednesday. Residents of Buhari community in the Yunusari local government area of Yobe had earlier claimed that a Nile fighter jet rained bullets from the skies and killed nine people in the area, while several other villagers sustained injuries. But after an initial denial, NAF Director of Public Relations and Information Edward Capquet has now released another statement confirming the incident, adding that an investigation has commenced into the incident. The United Nations Children's Fund UNICEF says Nigeria has recorded at least 20 attacks on schools in 2021, resulting in the abduction of more than 1,000 children. In a statement released on Wednesday, UNICEF said at least 1 million children in Nigeria are unable to return to school over fear of attacks. According to the statement, Peter Hawkins, UNICEF representative in Nigeria, expressed concern over how insecurity is affecting school resumption, adding that the, despite government efforts, many children are not being reached due to ability to access technology and forced labor. The European Union is set to donate another 200 million COVID-19 vaccine doses to low-income countries. The extra doses announced by European Commission, Pre uh, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen comes on top of the 250 million shots the EU has already promised to give to other countries, particularly the ones in Africa. She thereafter hails the EU's vaccination rollout, which has seen more than 70% of its adult population fully vaccinated. The federal government is set to conduct a comprehensive review of obsolete financial regulations that are operational in the country's public service. According to a statement from the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation, the review, which has been approved by the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, will bring the financial regulations up to date with current realities and best practices. The financial regulations are legal instruments that empower and guide public officers in carrying out government financial transactions. The United Nations has urged Ethiopia, Egypt and Sudan to resume talks to resolve disputes over the Nile Dam within a reasonable time frame. The dam project on the Blue Nile has caused tension between Ethiopia and its neighbors, with Egypt and Sudan worried about drought and water, scarcity, uh, water security. The dam, which is almost complete and due to start generating an initial 750 megawatts of electricity in a month, is expected to generate eight times that amount when it is projected to be completed in 2023. And in sports, Liverpool has shown interest in striking a January deal for the signature of Red Bull Salzburg's Karim Adeyemi. The former Bayern Munich player arrived in Austria in the summer of 2018 and impressed in the 2020 to 2021 top flight, banking seven goals and nine assists from 29 appearances. Adeyemi also won his side three penalties during the 1-1 draw with Sevilla in the Champions League in midweek. And this 19-year-old has understandably attracted glances from El elsewhere. And that's the latest update on the newsroom at this time. Do join us again at the top of the half for more. Thank you for watching.